Hi guys, hello Mary me too buddy, it's Michelle Marie to let you in. Today is the 12th of October and this is a vlog, not a B-cast, even though I'm in the studio today uh, because it's getting cold outside and trust me, no one's going to sit outside and um, it'd get cold. Um, so I wanted to first of all kind of retouch with all of my members of my audience team about the weather first because it's a vexy right now it says right now it's 17 degrees celsius it is fair it feels like 17 degrees celsius wind is northeast at 27 kilometers per hour humidity is at 43 percent uv index is four it's moderate so it's still daytime so that's why Sunrise this morning was at 7.02 a.m. Sunset tonight will be at 6.15 p.m. I'm going to go for the forecast for the next few days. Starting with tonight. Tonight the low will be down to 3 degrees Celsius. Friday. It will be um, partially sunny. A high of 17. A low of 10. Uh, it's not too bad. And Saturday, October 14th. It's still kitchen will be open by the way. A high of 21, a low of 16, and set on Sunday will be a, um, a mix of sun, clouds, rain, with 40% chance of precipitation, a high of 23, and a low of 7. And uh, it's a good thing I took the air conditioner in the window because Monday is going to be really, really cold at night. Wow. Um, so, yes, we have taken the air conditioner out of the window for obvious reasons because summer is, is well, has been over since September 21st, 22nd, actually. Um, but summer is over, and because summer is over, everything starts to lie down, except for me. Because that means I get all excited because now I have what they call reverse seasonal affective disorder. Um, which means that in summertime, I am very really depressed, very, very unhappy, um, miserable. And then in the wintertime, I get all back close to normal baseline and start feeling good about myself and things around me. Um, some people ask me about uh, why I haven't gone um, to mass much. Um, and I explained to one of them, I explained to Toy Talkers, that the problem was is after the change of the mass in 2011, there was absolutely positively, my parents did not really uh, make it the transition to the new mass any easier. They actually just kind of gave a little pamphlet, amend them, and said, you know the, you know the drill, here's the rest of it, here's what you need to know. To fill in the gaps. I went to see. I went to my parish today, and I spent some time with Christ in the church um, in prayer, and uh, I had a chance to refresh my memory of the amendum of the mass um, that they put in the pews, and I was like, "Why, why, Lord, did you allow this?" type of tomfoolery to occur um you know this is really schisming castle many catholics all over the english-speaking world i don't know about the other countries because in the other countries where english is not the vernacular of the people uh, to my knowledge their masses have pretty much remained close to the original uh translation of the Missae Romanium of the Catholic Church. It just, it, uh, in the 1973 translation of the Mass, we know as the Novi Ordo, uh, it was, the translation was much closer to how we would normally speak. And it wasn't really structured word for word on the original Latin translation of the Missae Romanium, which meant that Everybody could kind of get used to it because it was the way everyday modern Americans and modern English speakers spoke. But the translation they're using now, um, even though it is 
more correctly in line with the original missile. Latin translation word for word is totally head scratching in some of its design. Um, so obviously there is a lot of Catholics that have grown up um, under the uh, 1973 translation of the Mass that are like totally uncomfortable with the new Mass. The Nove Nove Ordo, <laughs> as I like to call it, the Nove Nove Ordo. Um, it's um, it's really hard. I I do kind of agree with the return uh, of some of the um, in the comfortor comfortor section of the mass, where we say, "By my own fault, my most grievous fault." Me a couple, me a couple, me a maximum couple. I, I kind of agreed with that, but the thing I didn't uh, uh, agree with is the way so many lines that we uh, traditionally said in the mass are just totally different. So I was totally ill prepared for that. Um, so when I went last year to the mass, I with my hearing loss and everything else, and the fact that the sound system wasn't working right. And uh, there was no, in the, in the older missalettes, there was this, the readings would be presented to you in the little booklet. So you could read along with the lector and the priest during the gospel. That's gone. And because that's gone, nobody knows what the priest is saying, especially if you have hearing loss, um, it is really, really difficult um, for that reason. Uh, so obviously, my I don't know if some other parishes are doing a better job on that, but my parish seems to have dropped the ball in a couple places. Um, at least I can say I did not drop my air conditioner as I'm taking it out the window. That would have been a disaster. Um, in fact, I was very careful to remove the air conditioner in such a way that I did not lose control of it whatsoever as I was removing it from the window. And that's important because the center of gravity of this air conditioner was very different than the center of gravity of the original hot point that it replaced. Uh, the original hot point had a very substantive handle on it. You could pick it up when you took it out of the frame. You had this big, heavy handle that you could grab um, to take it out of the window. But because the original uh, accordion pieces were broken, we had originally had a jig to hold the um, hot point air conditioner into that window and that worked out great and then somebody offered me another air conditioner of the same type as the hot point uh, I think that was a Fetters but unfortunately uh, I already had threw away my window frame that I made for the hot point so I said what the heck am I gonna do with this <laughs> I don't have any way of putting it in my window I have no way of holding it in place it's gonna go flying because it's no, there's no jig. Uh, so of course somebody else took it, because um, I obviously couldn't use it. So instead of basically being, an, I wasn't trying to be an asshole. I just basically couldn't do anything with it for that reason. What's this? Oh, my appointment. Oh, yeah. You, Michelle does need to go get an eye glasses. I do. Yeah. Um, the other thing, of course, is now, since this is one of those vlogs I'm doing in the studio, I can obviously cut and slice and dice the vlog to fit. So it's not quite as drastic. If I think it's too long, a little bit of snip, snip, snip. Here and there, I'll fix that. 
okay? Um, no, I have not heard from Sherry. No, I have not changed my view from the big cast from yesterday. She is not going to be on the show. I didn't, as I said, I did contact um, some bankruptcy company, which brings up a great question. What happened with that class action lawsuit? I haven't heard any more about it. Okay, and I've been checking my email every day. Um, but then again, they said that if there isn't going to be any refund, it would probably be in November. So, we'll see what happens. Uh, what about this, um, the um, Nancy Pelosi thing? That she says that President Trump does not throw them a bone regarding DACA that he's going or she will deliberately force the United, um, the United government to go into shutdown cancel all payments for social security disability recipients close all federal parks and everything else well um, again I didn't want to go too heavily into politics but let me put it this way what she wants to do to the federal level is what Daniel P. Malloy, the governor of the state of Connecticut, has done on the Connecticut level. And it is a mess. The state of Connecticut has no budget. Okay? Technically, the state of Connecticut has been running on a wish and a prayer for the last three months. And it is not going to get any better at all. Actually, it's been running on the Western Bray a lot longer than three, I can assure you. Um, so, it's clearly evident that the, so, um, the situation is unattainium. Okay. Now, um, we have an election in Connecticut for a new governor and some new members of the Connecticut State Legislature on the 7th of November, we also, of course, will have our uh, election for the midterm elections for our representatives in Washington, and I believe our senators in Washington as well. Clearly, the current system is a giant train wreck, okay? Nobody can deny that. Um, incidentally, somebody said to me uh, something which I do have to take agreement with. Uh, about Donald Trump and I um, I'm, as like I said I'm a moderate I, I look at things from both perspectives um, they said he's a narcissist no I don't know if he's got a narcissism but he sure the hell has an ego after all everything he owns says Trump on it right Trump Airlines which is gone now but the Trump plane Trump Tower Trump golf courses, the Trump Taj Mahal casino, which I think is now is now bankrupt, but uh, the Trump castle. <laughs> In other words, everything says Trump this, Trump that. It's like he's so proud of those five old letters, and yet when I watch The Apprentice, the Trump sign on Trump Tower. The bulbs are partially burned out. It's like, so we forgot to change the goddamn tubes. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so you say a word like, they're like T-R-M-P or T-R-N-R-C. And the third one, it was only just the letters T-R was playing. Uh, okay, so he's clearly, he's got an ego. Um... But then again, uh, does that mean that he's necessarily a bad person because he has an ego issue? I will leave that for you guys to chew on. I'm not going to chew that because right now this slog is running way longer than it should. Okay? Um, so I'll leave it to you. Now, 
Um, we are having our live stream on Sunday. It will be at the standard time of 6 p.m. I will be here. And Lumi will be here. And we may have a lot of people here. I don't know who yet. I know Sherry Heaton's not involved. But we never know what's going to happen. So, I want to wish you all, you know, um, a nice day. And that uh, because it is going to be cooling down for the next few days, I really want to remind all of you to keep those who are homeless in mind. Um, they really have a hard time when it's really cold weather. And... Um, and if you can help them all, even in small ways. I'm talking about uh, maybe, I know there are different kinds of homeless people. I know you've got homeless people that really, really don't want your help. And you've got homeless people that would love to have your help but are afraid to ask for your help. And then you've got your homeless people who don't think anyone wants to help. Um, I'm talking about and then, of course, you got homeless people that really, really, really are desperate for any help. Uh, if you know anybody in that fourth class, if you can do something to help them, it would be greatly appreciated. Okay? Um, if you know anybody in the first and second class, um, especially in this, this, the second and the third, um, maybe a little bit of showing some kindness that maybe you can somehow help them get better housing and stuff. And I'm not going to say it's going to necessarily always happen, but, uh, it's, it's by trying is what makes it work or not work. If you don't do something, then we have failed the objectives. All right, so for now, I'm going to keep you in touch with uh, the bankruptcy stuff. And uh, and I will do my best again to hear from the local attorney that does with personal bankruptcy. I'm hoping he'll get back to me and uh, we'll be able to uh, resolve that. And don't forget there was more of a Dory project I'm going to be doing something similar coming up because of Samhain uh, we would I'd like to do a live stream during Samhain uh, I have to be honest when I say because Samhain is such a special special time I don't really really want to have sensationalize it so oh We'll have to think about it. Um, that could be a whole nother video. I'm not going to go into that right now. But just to say is I have some ideas for the future. Given the resources I have. And uh, for now. See you guys later. And uh, please do check out Lumi's channel. Uh, she has her own. She will be covering her own favorite topics on her channel. This says I will also be covering our own personal topics on this show. But we always enjoy because we love being together. We love joining together in, in, in community. I mean, us, that's the most blessed thing. But for the vlog, this vlog, I decided to cover it. And, um, and so, but during the live stream, of course, we will both be there. And we will uh, be there uh, answering your questions. Bring good questions. That's the most important thing. Bring good questions. All right, guys, that's a wrap. See you soon. Bye-bye.